All right, so we're going to do a video today on burping a radiator coolant system. I'm using this Lyle kit. Now we've got a Subaru that we're doing today, so some things will be specific to the Subaru. We changed the hoses and the thermostat, so the system's totally empty. Now we're going to put fresh antifreeze and as well as the Subaru additive in there and um, show you how we're going to do that and burp it. All right, so the key to this is to get the right fittings. Now, the Lyle kit comes with several fittings. Uh, you want to get one that goes in there snugly. I believe this might be the one. Nope. There it is. So this one's going to slide right in there and it's going to go up against there. And what we're going to do is use what they call the medium. This is a small piece. Use this, I guess that's their medium size one, to clamp it in there. Um, it's not going to be super tight, but it's going to be tight enough to hold everything in place while we do the fluids. Now this particular Lyle kit has a plug that goes in and out. Um, some of the newer ones may have a valve in the bottom. I'll put links to both of these um, in the video. We're going to slide that in there. We're going to plug that up. All right, so we've got the Peak Asian Blue. And we're going to do a 50-50 mix of this. I always buy the concentrate. I don't buy pre-mix. I think it's a colossal waste of money, but that's just me. Actually, I can put two cups in here and measure two cups of water. Do the same thing. I'll do this a couple of times and uh, it's probably going to pour right in as I lift this plunger up. I'm going to go three cups this time. And I'm also going to put the Subaru additive in. So anybody that's got a Subaru, uh, supposedly they fixed the uh, the issue with head gaskets wearing away, but this additive is their solution, or one of their solutions to that. It's disgusting yellow, milky stuff. I just don't want that stuff splashing up, and with my luck, it'd get me right in the eye. So that's 10 cups already, it's 80 ounces. And the reason I'm doing this first is because I'm lazy and I'll use the water to rinse it out. Might as well get every last bit of this additive. Well, I think it finally hit the point where it's not going to take anymore. I'm going to put an ounce more of each, mm -hmm. and then we're going to start it up. Do the bleeding? Yeah. You know, I can do this too, right? Yeah, well, let's, let's go ahead and burp it right now. Do that, burp, that piece, squeezing the hoses. Um, getting rid of any air that's in the hoses. Let me get the bottom of this. Sure. Ready? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna take the rest of it. I think the manual, uh, it's like 2.1 gallons, I think. Yep. So it's pretty damn close. Yeah. It's, I think we should have just enough. All right, so everything's set. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and run the engine. 
and the whole idea is to get the uh, thermostat to open up and start circulating fluids. Now these Subarus have two thermostats too, at least this one does. Um, one of them of course is for the engine coolant, uh, to cool the engine. The other one's for the transmission, um, where the, I guess you could call it an intercool or fluid exchange, I mean, they got weird names for it. Um, there's a thermostat that opens up to run fluid uh, to the transmission. So if you notice, when the engine uh, idled down, the thermostat opened up, and now it's bleeding some air out of the system, so that's good, that's what we want. All right, so it's not burping anymore, but what I'm going to do while the engine is running, I'm going to take this off, I'm going to plug it up, take it off, put it in the overflow container, and um, quickly do this, and quickly put the cap on. The reason I'm doing it this way is while the engine's running, there's not going to be any back pressure. If I were to turn the engine off, there's going to be back pressure, because this thing is it's running, it, it's at operating temperature right now, and that fluid's going to expand without the... Um, engine running to pull it through the system. So let me go ahead and get that done real quick. Plug. All right, that's on. Can you shut the engine off? Shutting the engine off, gonna see if uh, anything backfills from here to the overflow. It does not. We're gonna put the overflow up to the fill line. That way everything will have some fresh fluid in it. And by the way, if you see this yellow stuff, that's not milk from oil and water mixing. That's actually the Subaru additive. Um, so if you're doing a Subaru and you see that, don't panic right away. It's probably add, uh, the additive. Now we're going to put this leftover in here because it is poison. It's, they're still using uh, ethylene glycol, unfortunately. Not propylene glycol. And then I'll mark this container Subi 50-50, so if we, if we need it at some point, we'll have it. All right, so there you go. Although it's not in this video, we did the hoses, we did the thermostat, and what this whole video is about is doing the uh, bleeding of the, all the air out of the system. One thing we did notice is that we weren't getting any hot air out of the... Uh, out of the uh, cabin when we ran it on heat and we believe what happened was that there was airlock in there once the engine he heated up to about 199 200 degrees uh, hot water started flowing through and we started getting hot air and a bunch of bubbles came up to the system so you do have to do that and uh, you do have to wait to, for it to heat up to a certain amount uh, to get all the uh, all the uh, air out of the system anyway hope this has been helpful to you if it has hit share and like and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching